हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल टीचिंग मास्टर आई एम सिद्धार्थ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी हेल्पिंग यू टू गेट स्टार्टेड विथ ओपन सोर्स कंट्रीब्यूशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कशिंग अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट हाउ टू गेट स्टार्टेड विथ ओपन सोर्स वॉट इज ओपन सोर्स देन द रिक्वायरमेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द ओपन सोर्स वॉट आर द प्री रिक्विजिट्स फॉर इट देन द रोड मैप for it how to start the open source and what all essential steps will come in between that then the benefits of uh, open source so once you have done the contribution what all will be the benefits of post after it in your career as well as the college also so they will talk about some of the online programs including the paid one which will give you around uh, some of the good stipends like 1500 dollar also and then the closing marks so let's start with start it so first is what is open source the term open source basically refers to something people can modify and share because its design is publicly accessible so if you have any github you have uh, done any open source uh, project or software released oss and then you can publicly launch it so that uh, anybody can do the modification of the code or raise a pr so that uh, they can modify or enhance and make it better today however uh, open source is designated a broader set of values what we call the open source way open source projects products or initiatives helps exchange collaborative participation rapid prototyping transparency and community oriented development so the prerequisites are you have to be with the fundamentals of github like uh, if some of the companies has or git labs so basic understanding of how to fork a branch raise a pull request these are the fundamentals how to check on the issues filter it out based on the labels so these are the fundamentals you should know about the github any programming language uh, is required so basically oops object related oriented programming is required here so javascript java python or if you have done any of the courses like web development android development or machine learning courses anything courses collaborative with the basic fundamental of any oops programming language is required here then the basic git commands like uh, commit git commit push merge creating a remote branch how to push into the main branch so these are the fundamental git commands are required and then the domain language specific project so if you have selected javascript as your programming language then you have to select uh, look into the project on the github related to the javascript so suppose if i have contributed to javascript i will look for the mdn related mozilla docs google chrome if i am uh, javascript but a react framework on it or react native then i will just look forward for the facebook react native lang- uh, project so now the road map so the road map of open source contribution begins from a uh, language of the object oriented programming as i mentioned in the previous slide that you have to be with the any of oops language will help you so c c++ also helps but uh, there are lesser projects available on the github you have to uh, look around it so but javascript python ruby java these are uh, available on a large number second step is get a hands on the basic of the git commands like how you do the commit merge so how to raise a pull request fork a branch from the master to your remote Okay so these are the basic things you need to aware with the stage 
so in the stage 3 you have to choose a organization or a project so suppose if i choose uh, facebook as an organization or google chrome as an organization or mdn mozilla as an organization i will just look into like what i need to modify or what i look uh, have to look into it so i will just check uh, inside these organization the projects because i am familiar with the javascript language if you are familiar with python or uh, java you can check on any of the android related platform also project coming to the stage 4 so stage 4 is basically if you have selected any project in the previous step so you have a facebook project you go to the github repository of it and then just go to the issues tab inside it and do a filter of it on the basis of good first issues so basically good first issues will help you to start with on the basic fundamental of the how to start and how to contribute with the PR because good generally good first issues are tagged as a small PRs which anybody can contribute if you are a beginner then it will be the easier one so the stage 5 is basically read the descriptions carefully so if you have selected any good first PR then just check the descriptions of it what it is saying the requirement what is the requirement they are asking for and read all the comments inside that discussion in the PR and once you reach to that last you just have to check or confirm that whether this is issue is tagged to anybody or is it resolved or is it parked for some other use case or in the some other sprint so you just formally ask whether can I pick this issue or can I take up this issue or not okay so this will formally asking uh, can I take the take this issue will help you that uh, whether this issue has been resolved by somebody else or this issue is already in continuation with somebody else uh, so anybody from that organization will reply you on that okay if it is uh, good to go then they will reply you can take the, this issue now the last step stage 6 where you have to fork the repository so suppose it's a facebook repository facebook slash react then you have to fork it with your own branch okay and then you have to do the changes on your remote branch or you can say local branch and then raise a PR from your branch to your project which you have raised for so here it's a Facebook slash react so once your changes are done on your local just commit it and raise the PR to the main uh, repository which is a Facebook slash react so once any uh, review is done a lot of CI CD checks are run so basically for lending and uh, uh, CI you have to sign actually so these are the things which goes if everything works fine one of the developer from the that organization will review your PR if uh, everything uh, is good then they will merge if not they will put a comment on it that you need to do some modification in the PR post that you need to raise do the changes again here in the remote branch and then raise a PR to the Facebook react and post that they will merge it now the benefits of uh, contributing to the open source so what benefit i will get uh, personally after the contribution so the benefit you will get is the improving coding skills so coding skills you will get uh, the best way is basically to practice uh, uh, how the developers uh, are writing uh, basically and their coding skills uh, but also gain valuable feedback from the season community developers like uh, how to improve your coding skill what you have done sometimes we basically add a basic co coding which we have learned in the college but uh, uh, for a production related thing or uh, a live customer related thing we need to upskill our coding part so how to write this so you will uh, definitely will get a improve in coding skill at plus this one is the best part that you will gain early experience often required by the companies for employment so you will having a 
exposure to the most of the jobs uh, if you uh, will apply at the entry level position also you will get uh, a kind of certain level of experience that uh, will help you because you have already contributed and you have already have a lot of experience with the other developers how to manage uh, this particular uh, code or uh, this particular uh, uh, scenario other part is that uh, increase community and peer communication so basically you will be getting engaged with lot of communities like twitter communities the discord communities slack channels uh, there are lot of uh, like if, if you are contributing to facebook or any other organization they have will be having lot of communities you can interact and directly talk to the senior developers and uh, get to know that how they are handling and the situation how they are preparing for a production release how the code without a bug uh, you can ship it how you can write a maintainable code so these kind of peer guidance you can get here other than that find greater a uh, job prospects so basically if you are uh, uh, applying for a job also you will be having a open source is a uh, basically having a separate reflection on your resume also uh because open source is visible to the public prospective employers can inspect your code and access your skills as a developer based on your code uh, written you have written but additionally jobs uh, uh, in software consulting and freelancing can also arise as a result of open source contribution so here you can get that aid in salary negotiations so basically in order to win a salary negotiation it's imperative that you have a strong justification as to so oh, why a company should pay you more the nature of uh, open source contribution does just that because open source is public developers have a clear documentation of contributions they make to the community and the experience gained from the open source development this helps demonstrate your value to your prospective employer or manager or and remind them of your accomplishments so this will you will get so other last is the improve software on a user or a business level so usually developers first come across open source software as a user and want to improve it for their own use even if the user isn't a programmer they can still suggest new features and functionality to the software owner or core team likewise if a business owner or company is using a piece of open source software and would like to make some changes or add a new feature to meet a certain business need then this is a real possibility so it's a kind of here win win situation for both of the company as well as for the uh, contributor now talking about some of the online programs uh, here we have some online programs uh, running so one famous is the digital ocean hacktober fest so basically is a very popular open source program that is hosted by digital ocean here you need to submit four or more quality pull request and you either get a chance to plant a tree or get a limited edition t-shirt so generally people do for the t-shirt only uh, google summer of code goc is the famous one the top famous but it's a uh, difficult to get selected in that but uh, yeah you can try into that so the timeline is uh, basically between january to august and the stipend could around 1500 to 3300 dollar so it's a 16 year completion of the uh, google summer of code so basically it's again targeting to the open source software development in on university students now uh, they are um, opening for professional also another one is mlh fellowship so the stipend here is around uh, up to 5000 dollar so mlh is basically major league hacking basically in founded in 2013 is a global community for student developers mlh is a recently launched program known as mlh fellowship which is a 12 week remote program you have to do the 12 week remote program enrolled into it and then only you based on your project you will be getting 5000 dollar up to that another is google season of dog very less people have known but are very popular also so it's for a google where technical writers and open source organization come together and work on open source project the technical writers write documentation for open source organization and also get paid by the google 
another one is season of kd so the season of kd hosted by kd community is an outreach program for all individuals across the world kd is an international software you can check on the google and the community is very large you will be definitely getting a lot of learnings from there that develops free and open source software so you can contribute to this also outreach is another one where you will be getting a stipend of $6000 and it's a diversity initiative that provides paid as well as a remote internship to people subject to systematic bias and impacted by underrepresentation in technical industry where they are living so that is also good you can try that some more of the links are here presented uh, one is uh, fosasis uh, code cheat linux kernel mentorship program redox os summer code curl script and few more so you can check that i have mentioned that uh, beside uh, whether the stipend will be provided or not so you can just pause the video and check now the closing notes so who i am so i am siddharth verma from india computer science graduate what i do is basically i have a four years of professional experience in web technology uh, my journey to osc is basically till now i have contributed to meta react native google chrome web dev mozilla grafana and open collective and soon more will be contributing soon also so thank you for watching this video if you like this video uh, then please do like share and subscribe for more interesting contents in the future